Hello all, welcome back to the channel. So, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been watching my videos and sharing, it's been really good. So I'm going to be getting some really good reception, so thanks very much. Um, and if you're new around here, it'd be great if you could subscribe and you know, like the video if you like it. Don't act. If you do, that's good. Anyway, today's video is on a little indie game called The Pedestrian. Now, The Pedestrian is a side-scrolling puzzle platforming type of game in where you have to move from A to B, moving like signposts or um, signs on walls or doors or metal crates or whatever, wooden boxes or something, and link your little character guy from A to B via doing certain problems or certain like in certain doors or keys or like maybe lifts and elevators or something like that and the game is generally generally easy to understand it's very straightforward and quite easily easy to understand how to, how to play it the first few levels as you'll see here in the video kind of teach you the the general gist of what you need to do. So you move the parts around of the set of road signs or billboards or the traffic lights to then connect doors or lifts or stairs from A to B to be able to get your little guy from A to B via the route you need to take to do so. But there seems to be a lot more truly unique things about the game that make you to stand out a bunch around the rest. Now obviously we're playing this here on the uh, PlayStation 5 and something I want to mention here is the fact that the game comes in at only 860 meg whereas if you bought the PS4 version it's over two and a half gig so it's over a third of the size to download for the PS5 variant. And I'd say that's because the game's been heavily optimised for the PlayStation 5's SSD. But, you know, with even a game like this, you know, a few meg here and there, you might think too much, but with a bigger game, it would be a lot. Um, so, I mean, the game generally has nice atmospherical music and has a really nice, well-designed, creative puzzle aspect to the game. With the PS5 version, because this did come out on the PS4 game as well, but with the PS5 version you get full haptic feedback as well as um, there's a little speaking and such do certain noises as well, but that's also a problem with the PS4 version. Now, this game was out on PC some time ago and was well received, and I remember seeing this uh, when it was showing off for the PC and thinking, oh wow, that was really good. But it's been really well received and it's been so well received and it's also coming out with a Nintendo Switch and uh, Xbox One slash you know, the Xbox Series console at a later date but at the moment they've just pulled it over to the PlayStation for now but it is coming basically to everything but the general feeling with this game is although it's a little short you can complete it quite quickly um, as long as you know you're clued up with thinking about what's going on um, I've read you can complete it in you know, three or four hours and let's see it's done. Which is why I've not rushed through it, because I am really enjoying it. And it's such a fantastic little game and it stands out from all the rest out there. It's very unique, it's very easy to pick up and play, and it's definitely worth you giving it a go. Um, the only gripe I've got, and this is really me more than anything, is the game comes with no plan. There is 10, 10 trophies for each of the six, 10 levels, and that's it. That's, that's all you get. There's no more than that. And that's slightly annoying. You'd think they'd have chucked in, you know, a bigger trophy pack with, like, do the levels in a certain time, or do these levels without 
uh, restart them, or you know, something just to give it a bit more uh, of a trophy pack. But that's because I'm a you know, trophy hunting, hoarding, geezer, and like you know, I'd like to have had a platinum in there. But with that said, if you do buy the PS5 or 4 version, you get both versions of the game. So in theory, you could complete it twice and get the trophy pack completed twice for the one cost. So that's uh, interesting to say, you know, to say the least. But so, so I is, is I think this game has been really well designed, really well crafted. It's got a really good aesthetic. It's so well thought out and I just wanted to highlight it here on the channel even though it's been out for a long time on PC it is coming to other platforms later on and so this game is applicable to other platforms when it comes out so and um, as anybody knows I like to highlight the indie games on the channel here that might not get as much um, as much representation in the gaming ecosphere etc and so yeah it's nice to put this one on here and show people that because it did take my role it was something i was like wow this looks really cool when i first saw it and yeah i wanted to show everybody else it as well and yeah i mean i give this solid but the value of money the fun aspect that makes you think, it makes you think, you know, how do I do this one, or you know, that type of thing, and how much attention to detail has been put into the level design, and you don't get fatigued over it, it just, you can just play it, and it's fun. I think this will be perfectly suited to the Switch as well, when it comes on the Switch. Um, and yeah, great, great effort, solid, 7, if not more, out of 10 for me, this. Um, if you want to know anything more about the game, just drop some comments down below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Well, I'm going to leave this video running out for a few more of the, a few more of the parts of the uh, first areas of the uh, game. So you can watch more if you wish. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to know anything, just drop some comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much and goodbye.